Hi guys, I'm Loka Happy and today we're going to be tackling something I've been wanting to do for a really really long time. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It's a thrifting series. When I was 14, my parents would always watch Storage Wars. If you know what Storage Wars is, that was like the epitome of what I actually wanted to do. So I decided that I wanted to start a kind of series where I hit all the thrifting spots here in Thailand. Now if you're watching this and you're like, where is Thailand? Girl, let me pull up a map for you, okay? we are. This is us. Does Thailand not look like a heart with a tail? Because to me, it looks like a heart with a tail. I would say the thrifting scene in Thailand has really started to wrap up its game because more people are being interested in thrifting and finding secondhand items that are like gems, hidden gems. It's still not as big, I would say, but it's starting to get there. And you can see actually a lot of like Instagram shops, a lot of like shoppy shops that are selling like curated secondhand items according to themes. So like fairy core, cottage core, Y2K. It's really cool and it's really creative. So I really love that. Anyway, so right now I'm in Bangkok and Bangkok has so many thrifting places, especially thrifting outlets, which I am so grateful because it is my second home. And so our journey starts with the first thrifting franchise. This is Shinjuku Outlet. Shin mother effing Juku Outlet, okay? This is like my second home. Shinjuku Outlet is a franchise that they sell secondhand clothes and basically you have like buildings that are rented out and turned into places that are racks to put secondhand items. And most of the time these secondhand items are items from Japan, hence the name Shinjuku Outlet. So it's kind of like secondhand items that they bought from overseas or bought from like a maybe Japanese secondhand market to bring into Thailand and sold to us. From my restless hours of research of all the Shinjuku outlets, I might be missing some, but I think there are 12 from my deep dive research. Okay, I, I was looking at Facebook. I was looking at some Thai website. I was reading Thai. And if I'm missing any, please, comment below so that I can continue this series smoothly. The first Shinjuku outlet that I'm hitting is Shinjuku outlet town in town. So town in town is like the hub where casting areas are and I also feel like there's a lot of like studios and things that are in that area. So it's very interesting to see how like the different outlets are influenced by like the areas they are in. How do we get to Shinjuku town in town? I would say it's not as accessible to the other Shinjuku outlets I've been to personally but they do have really good gems and it's really worth looking into. So you can either take the MRT, I think the MRT is like Hoi Kwang or Sutisan and then you take a grab or a motorbike to go there or you can just take a cab honestly that's probably like the easier way to go about it when you enter the first floor is where the cashier is and you can actually enter and you see like some of like the new clothes that they bring down and you see some like skirts and in the middle part is where you get like all like children's clothes and it's just like piles of children's clothes and towards like the stairs is where you have all the tank tops the spaghetti straps the vest they're all in that one little section when you go to the second floor you do kind of get a selection of like men's clothing and also like a bunch of pants um that are on that section and a bunch of skirt um i would say that floor is mainly like long pants i would say like lo long working pants a bunch of jeans a bunch of skirts we have like a little basket all right this basket is so I don't know who thought of it, but it's such a cute idea is you get like a laundry basket and you tie like strings to it and it, it becomes like your innovative 
basket that you can use to carry around your thrifted items. If you want to learn a little bit more about how to thrift or what you should do, how do you want to get started, I definitely recommend, I don't know where it is, I definitely recommend you watch the video I made about the guide to thrifting or the the ultimate Christina guide to thrifting. If you're just like a beginner or if you're trying to start out and you're like, I don't know, how am I gonna, so where do I start? I'm so scared, I'm so overwhelmed. So definitely check that video out. Back into it, okay? The third floor is again, more like shirts, skirts. It's not really organized in a way. It's more like the middle aisle are all the shorts, the pants, the jeans. It's not arranged by size. It's not arranged by anything. It's just bleh. There it is, you look. We selected the clothes, you do the digging. If it fits you, if it doesn't, you just gotta, you just gotta kind of eyeball it is a space dedicated to just sweaters and like winter wear. I don't know who, I mean, I guess I can see why there is a lot of winter wear because, you know, some people do come thrift here and then buy those thrifted items to go abroad. And there's some really nice stuff there. I was like, if I, girl, if I ever live somewhere else besides this inferno of a weather, I would definitely go thrifting at that top section and find beautiful gems. I found like this coat and it's not really a coat. It's like the kind of coat that like, you know, in the sixties, how there's like a coat where you just put your hands out, but there's no sleeves. Those are so elegant. I was like, I was about to get it, but then I had to be realistic and be like, be for real. You're gonna wear this here in a Bangkok in this hot heat. I don't think so. And so I didn't buy it. I would say the haul that day was a very interesting haul because it started off really slow. It started off with just t-shirts and I was like, I don't want just t-shirts. I'm looking for bottoms. I feel like I thrifted majority of things that are like staple items in my closet. Now I need la bottoms. La bottoms, okay? I have la tops. I need la bottoms. But I would say on the third floor is where like there's like this little way that it leads into the elevator. A little bit tad bit kind of scary, okay? A little bit scary, not gonna lie. So I got some really nice gems and I feel like a lot of the things in this specific Shinjuku outlet, there's like so many unique pieces of items. Like unique not in terms of just like the fact that you will probably never ever come across that top ever like that brand doesn't exist anymore but also in the fact that like the cuttings i thrifted these pants and they had like adjustable straps i've never seen something like that in my entire life okay it, it's like these like straps and it's just not like it's not like those weak straps okay it's like some heavy duty straps with some heavy duty uh, clamps on it and you can adjust the pants to be bigger or smaller and when you wear it, it doesn't even look weird. You can go downstairs on the first floor and there's like this scale thing. So the scale is literally a lifesaver and it tells you how much your piece of item is. In this specific Shinjuku outlet, I think it's 100 gram is 39 baht. So it goes by weight. And so me being me, I weighed all, all every single item so that I can know exactly how much each item costs. I don't know, it just makes me happy in some kind of psychological way. This specific Shinjuku outlet, you have to pay with cash. I believe that most of the Shinjuku outlet, you have to pay with cash as well. Overall, I paid 655 baht for all these items. I'm sorry, I, I need to go on a little rant because on my fine day in Shinjuku outlet, after I went casting, there were these two white men. These two white dudes were just fooling around. They were not wearing a shirt, which is like, it's giving kaosan behavior. It's giving disrespectful white people who come to Asian countries and think that they can do every single thing they want to and disrespect the place and where they are at. It's just screaming 
gross. Anyway, so these are the things I got and I'm so excited to show you guys because it's a beautiful haul, all right? So let me show you what I got. I got this Nike shirt, it's fairly new. Got it for my gym. One of the best way to get a baby tee is getting a shirt that is like a little bit too small for you, like enough to not agitate your armpits. It's this, I think it's like a, like a kid's clothes because it says 140. Done with the basics. Now onto something a little bit more interesting. A little bit more, got something, something to it. Talking about old money, I found this cardigan and I love the pattern. It's like, it's kind of like giving Christmas, but like not really. Like, can you imagine this with like a cute little like skirt or like pants? It's giving mother who plays golf. Okay, this next piece is a little bit saucy. And it's this, I think it's a lingerie, but I love it. The next thing I was really debating on whether I should get it or not because it's a little bit thick, but then the material is kind of soft. So I was like, mmm. And then I saw this one specific detail about it and I was like, I'm getting it. And on the topic of like bows and ribbons and cute little things, I found this velvet skirt. Can you fracking even see? Like you can't even see, like look. That's a new manga. It's new to me. Positively yours. And there's a scene, I don't know what scene it is, but like this the the woman, the love of his life was pregnant and she got hit by a I must continue the video without ruining my makeup. The next skirt, I know it's like mmm. Mmm questionable I wasn't gonna buy this skirt you're right it's got patterns so that means that it might be a little bit harder to match with a lot of looks but I feel like I could definitely make it still work I would definitely match this with like some cute black top not only that let me tell you I wasn't gonna buy this because number one I was like it's gonna be just a skirt but then I was like well what if it could be a dress. Again, I'm telling you, like towards the end of the haul, I was like, oh my gosh, I definitely won the lottery because I found so many bottoms. And this next one, again, I wasn't gonna get it because it had like a bunch of like stain. Like, you know when you keep a white shirt in the closet for too long and it just, and it kind of like oxidizes almost, but it like accumulates this like, orangey like dirty kind of look i wasn't gonna get it but then I, I i had hope my gut feeling was like maybe if i wash it off it'll come out and it came out it all came out like I, i'm so surprised because when i got it this whole entire thing was orange okay we're edging closer to like the end of the haul and these i kept the best for the last i don't know what kind of ghost like came into me like possess me but i saw i saw this this like dress like mini dress but it's like the dress that like those golfer girls wear and it's got like a tur turtleneck it's from this brand as well callaway i only know it's a golfing brand because i saw some like fellow golfer children who I used to go to school with carry like their bags and it said like Callaway. It could be such a vibe with like black heels and like she could be a vibe, you know what I mean? She could be a vibe. She could be giving trophy wife watching her husband play golf. She could be giving that. Next one I think is honestly my favorite find. It's not just any mini skirt it's pleated pinstripe laced mini skirt that fits me just about right my problems melted away when i saw the skirt 
Anyways guys, time is up. Well, that is basically everything I got from Shinjuku Outlet Town in Town. I love the place. I think it's not as accessible. The pricing is the same throughout all the Shinjuku. They have really nice and cold AC and they play really fracking good hip hop R&B music. I will style all these pieces in the next video. So don't forget to check that out. It's gonna come next week. And I'm super excited to show you guys how I will style all the items that I just got. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed uh, to subscribe. My finger just cracked there. And also give it a thumbs up and also put the bell notification because I post every week. So make sure you do that okay that's all for today guys i hope you guys have a nice day and i'll see you all later love you bye